Okay. The air duct should not have more than a half inch sag. It shouldn't really be on the ground like that. Okay, uh, this insulation, okay, uh, they removed all the old insulation, which I'm a big fan of. So all this insulation looks like it's a uh, fresh blown. You can tell people have been squirreling and walking back through there. They've compromised it some. Uh, structures of this age, okay, the purlins are undersized. All of them are. And this whole block, they're all undersized. Come over to my house, they're undersized. Okay. <clears throat> um, we've got collar beams. It looks pretty decent. At one time, this is wood shingled roof. That's the lath going across that way. And we got plywood over lath. That's the roof decking. We've got a little bit of rust. Emergency pan for the evaporator coil right there for the air conditioning system. That P trap is shallow, it's not insulated. Um, we're looking at the furnace. There's the data plate inside there. switch this is the attic tent they're really nice coming along here the gas line okay it does not have a sediment trap doesn't okay I'm not seeing a carrying use manual for this guy up here not seeing 36 inches of access to work on the unit. We got a little reuni. Tankless water heater. Has a safety pan. I really appreciate that. Thermostat's right there on the water heater. It says 115. It shouldn't be more than 120. Now these units are high efficiency. So that line coming off right here, that line right there, that's a condensate line because it's so efficient it makes condensation. But the condensation that this guy makes is acidic. So when this goes out to the side of the house and drains, but there should be a filter on that to neutralize the acidity before it drains onto the ground. This gas line, it does not have a sediment trap either. And you see this on a lot of them, all of them basically. You see that little red label right there? It says gas. Okay, they're supposed to take that off when they install it and regulate the pressure so that it works more efficiently. So this hasn't been installed. They bolted it up, but it hasn't been completely installed because they have a little red tag underneath there. And I imagine they're going to start taking them off. I keep complaining about them. I'm not the only one. They keep getting complaints about them. And if you take it off, I can't tell you if it was regulated or not. But by them leaving that on that red label, that red tape, by that being left on, I know for sure that they didn't regulate it. So I can't give them the benefit of the doubt. Undersized purlins, like I said. Looks like a vent from the bathroom. Not sure where that, what that vent goes to. That's interesting. I didn't think there were any bathroom vents. I still don't. Okay. There's your death marker. I'm gonna say you don't have death markers. There's another one over there. This is like 12 inches. They're just laying up here. I'm gonna say 10 or 12 inches of insulation. 